get the uh, what did he get on the facet? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's the innate. He he got clairvoyance. Oh, it's here. Yeah, it's his innate. Okay. This is so fun, right? If you actually get to hear it before. <laughs> I hope I hope we get to know. Otherwise, we're going to be left guessing. I'm talking about How a tough lane. Talk about bottom here for FBZ, who's already getting his butt beat. Yep, whirling axes here. The disruption for a save down to 40 HP. Blood grenade thrown to try and stop the Oracle. The bonus regen underneath the tower and the bonus armor, I think, ends up oh, saving GH. his life as GH will turn for first blood onto the, onto the Oracle. I in order for GH to get in range for this drop and get all the poison stacks on him. Yeah, really nice job there. And they're, they're even looking now for the Oracle, who doesn't have a TP scroll away. Four stacks of Shadow Poison on him now. He does not have a Fate's Edict uh, to prevent this damage. Only a Blood Grenade here is there they go. The FBZ running them down. Stick Charge is not going to be enough. Regeneration as top lane. Miracle completely alone. They're going to well, they're gonna try. They'll do a bit of damage here, but they can't really dive a Tier 1 that aggressively, can they? The better opportunity to seize control of the game right, right now, you know. I mean, you've got an immense amount of tower push on both sides, right? Enigma will take the tier one uncontested up yeah, top with the Eidolons as it's a big pushback here onto Kuro from the side. Warwick joins the fight on top of Sumail. So while Replica didn't tag him, walks into it now. Disruption create even more illusions as Kuro still uh, alive. But the Black Hole catching FBZ. Song of the Siren will cancel it, but it won't save him. Can they look to turn this around? Sumail has got another split earth at the ready. Five people stunned up here. Oh no, he mistimed it again. That's the second time here. King, wake up. Game number one of the day. He's missed two splitters already. Winter and Janter, they're going to keep jumping on in. Kuro, having survived that initial engagement, he will finally go down. Oh, I don't know if really landing the split earth changes much there, Winter, but it sure did give the green light for Night Pulse to keep fighting. Yeah, I do feel like uh, they're just trying to fight into the enemy's timing right now. They're not really that strong on the Enigma side, you know. I think even if he lands the split earth, I don't think the fight will happen. In favor, they're gonna get jumped. Yeah. GH. Level one vacuum at the ready. Sumail alive here a second time. This time the Split Earth will connect. They can chain stun as well with the vacuum. They pull him back just a bit, but the mana boots. And now the mechanism to heal him back up. Ball lining back into the river. Where he still will be just fine. Janter managing to TP away in the trees. Enigma Galaxy left empty-handed after a full five-on-five -five fight. They lose the tier one tower, but they are fighting mid lane where a two-man oh, back okay into the black hole they have to cancel it early to pop the guardian greaves they won't kill sumail they'll take down the enigma so it's enigma galaxy who managed to still find themselves a good fight here they will get their hands on the tier one and they might even chase for more crow see warwick underneath the ward they know where he's at now level oh, level they see Miracle. Miracle just songs because they showed on the Lit Watcher. Three heroes caught. They need to try and take down this Oracle first. Wall of Replica already down. The Orchid now onto the Oracle as they turn back to focus the storm, but he's able to Illusion get the room. zip away thanks to the Illusion. He's still fighting. He's still fighting. In fact, he's going on a GH. I thought he was going to run, but Warwick using a lot of his reserve mana here to fight. Now he's completely dry. Wand Charge able to avoid another Split Earth, and the Oracle is here to save him if need be. And, well, he needs to. Good dispel there. Miracle lets loose with more illusions now on the Mansa style. But that little bit of a four staff on another zip forward. Enigma Galaxy, they still and actually find two. Still no shot on our Shadow Demon. Yeah. Guess what does FBZ have? FBZ has a full Shiva's on top of the Guardian group. But no Blink Dagger for him as they have caught one. Blink in from GH for the save as Kuro's onto the low ground here. But they have a dispel just for about everything that he has. I don't think there's a way out of this for him. Three man back walls caught all the courses. Kami activates the BKB. There's the black hole now. They've caught Sumail. Song of the Siren. It's not going to cancel this one. This song completely ignored. It might as well be on mute with how aggressive that Warwick are playing. As in go Night Pulse to clean up this fight. Down goes GH. Miracle, they've run him down. Now they've pushed him back with that imbalanced facet Warwick. He is dropping low, but now with the support of his mates, will be able to assist Batoon in a triple kill. It's Nygma Galaxy finding themselves off worse here. A four for none trade off the double BKB reveal. You have to kill the uh, Enigma. You have to be able to jump him. Troll's going to eat his eggs and free up another slot here. I don't know what he goes for after this, but we shall see as they make the jump onto him now. Yule Scepter preemptively to stop the Storm from jumping on him, but they have a charge on a GH, so he's not completely safe here. Ghost Scepter buying him some time for the blink out from Sumail, but he's getting sucked in. Kuro saving the day, but what does he have for round two? And this time Sumail's caught off guard. Song of the Siren. He didn't BKB a second time, Cammy. He messed up the combo. 
Oh, they've got oh, it no. all wrong, Winter. Night Pulse, go up to the high ground. This time, the song is not music to their ears, and it's all coming to a screeching halt. The tune trapped in the river now as FBZ with his own scythe of ice setting up the lockdown. The tune, can he TP out of this? Do they have enough physical damage? They do not. They do not. What a fight. What a hold from Nygma. Sure. How that worked out, but he needs to get uh, the clockwork in the team fight. Speaking of clockwork, Kuro's gonna be scouted now. Work still has the gem of true sight as they are trying to assist Kuro here. He is going to get a disruption. I don't think he's got a way out there, even demonic cleanse or not. But that's BZ, the counter initiation, Sumailin as well. They're focusing the Oracle. He's dead for 100 seconds without buyback. Work gets off the BKB. He's trying to fight here, but he's not killing anyone. He needs to get out. Janter as well, not caught in cog jail here as GH now giving chase. GH blinks forward, sets him up with the Yule Scepter. The Split Earth will connect this time. Sumails, he's all warmed up, baby. He's not missing any splitters. He's up to level 25. This is some serious push coming your way, Neopulse. You better be ready. But he is very quickly getting through these towers and the rest of Enigma Galaxy. They're just waiting the wings, ready to come and defend their boy as FBZ finds two again here. No wall to follow up the vacuum, though. Gone for the AoE surge at 25 as Sumail just continuing to pound into these buildings. SB just saving buyback, Winter. Tier 4 tower is going down. Ancient's exposed. Now we're going to buy back. Work makes the jump in. He doesn't have BKB for 14 seconds. But Sumail playing things a bit patiently here. The root interrupted now is Janter. Making sure that Work gets another zip off. Bound bottom. Miracle pops the Song of the Siren. But it's the black hole now, which does catch Lestrak. And GH now prevents it from going from the save. This time Kami, he refreshes. He BKBs on the second life. But it's the <laughs> Wind Waker. Sumail, he gets out. Janter, he's going to charge on through as they've lost FPZ over on the bottom side of this fight. We're fighting in two places at once. Sumail still full HP here as there's the budget black hole. Seems like he will finally be able to get through GH as the rest of Nigma Galaxy, well, they've lost a couple of heroes here, Winter. That bottom fight did not go well for them. Sumail will be trapped here basically all by himself. Miracle does not have a song to offer him. The Wind Waker buying even more time now as Warwick trying his best. Janter saved by this false promise here as Miracle was trying to focus on him down. Batoon finally on top of his man. He destroyed the Nygma hero's bottom. He's on to Sumail. And he will clean up this fight, but against Mega's Winter, how much does it matter? Guess what I mean? Just for the memes. Okay, jump in, oh, out to Warwick, Cammy oh. just turning with the BKB, Kuro, and no, he didn't get the interrupt, I don't know what he's hit, double black holes, not gonna come through, but Cammy's already committed for the BKB as the Troll Warlord pushed up to the high ground by the expanded armature, they're trying to control this team fight Winter as they found GH, can they take him down in time, Batoon is broken, doesn't have a lot of fatigue speed, but still gets the kill, onto one, there's the second black hole, up with the cancel, the Scythe device instantly from FBZ, the back wall now, Batoon, everything is lagging to hell, can they even focus on the fight, Warwick, he's found his man, he's onto the Storm Spirit as Sumail is just far too healthy. Batoon still getting stunned up here. Ages for two minutes as the double buyback and now from Night Pulse, they've been killed off by Miracle and Sumail. They'll be able to defend the throne, but can they get back into this fight and help Batoon out? He's trapped on the wrong side of this fight. That's only the Aegis gone now as he slots in the BKB and the, the Satanic. Throne. throne is taking a little bit of damage here. Batoon trying Top to fight HP. through this one. Throne is going down. They need to get back and defend this. They are getting drawn away, and now they figure what's going on. They will be able to defend. Warwick is back in time. Nigma Galaxy, they bought back now on FBZ. Vatoon, he still has buyback ready. That was only the Aegis. A couple buybacks expended out from Night Pulse, who still managed to defend. But another Scythe device this time onto Vatoon. Warwick finds three. Kuro continuing the lockdown with the False Promise, saving one. The vacuum without a wall, though. How much is that going to do, FBZ? He's getting chased out of the fight. Warwick trying to get him. That would be a dieback, but he gets normal punched on back. Vatoon trying to fight into this one as the Oracle is trapped into the split Earths. There goes Warwick again. He actually gets onto Miracle. That's going to be a kill there. Kuro's going to fall as well. Sumail, he's the only one left alive as the Glyph of Fortification is used. They got to get rid of these wagons. On on the throne as the edge dies. That is going to be a dieback on the Oracle. That triggers a triple buyback now out from Nigma. They're trying to take this game down. Chanter's dying to the Mega Creeps. Warwick has just been zipping all over this fight as in they go onto the Lush Rack. FBZ once again doing what he can from the wings, but he might not to get out. Look at this lifesteal on the Sumail. He finally dies. He's going to buy back. Only one hero didn't use buyback in this fight, and it's GH. But it's still a five versus three, Winter. Here we go, round number 45 in this fight, it seems, as they find another Scythe of Ice out of the Storm Spirit, but it's Batoon who's focused and killed. That's his buyback. Now Night Pulse are all in on this fight, and it's gotta work, but Warwick, he's in too deep. He's now finally bought back. Nigma Galaxy considering it.
Will they go in here? It's still a five versus three. They've used all the buybacks now. And Sumel with another Scythe of Ice finds his man. Mega's back onto the throne as Batoon. He's going to be hexed up as well. He has a BKB ready to use. In he goes now trying to take down Sumel, but they're going to focus the throne. Nigma Galaxy. They will win this game, Winter. By hook or by crook, they focus the throne. And they take game one. Holy. The drama, you know, in the end, just having to <laughs> go for that uh, all-in on the you, base. But uh, it was a you, you know the answer to a question, but you set up your friend so that they can talk about something. You know, it's kind of like that in that case. This is what I was doing with the, the key difference is that you're not my friend. And what am I to you? <laughs> you are you know, casting with me, the, Winter. The Ar Arctic burn. Yeah. Why when They're going to go for it, Miracle. Is this going to be your end? He's in cog jail. The burn, the burn. Is he going to be saved here? Yes, he is by GH. The disruption from off screen will only buy him another second as it's till the end who picks up the first blood on the Miracle. But now, what will it cost? Night Pulse on the run here, Kami. Cannot evade the damage of Kuroki. Oh, you see? He, he is very fat and he sees the yeah. stack here and he's going to be Kuro. able to steal it. Well, didn't want to go for the flame break there. Instead, he's going to save it here to potentially defend. His work is up to level 6, makes that initial jump in. Sumail, let's get initiated on. And here's till the end with that move speed slow. Bit off a little bit more than he could chew there, Winter. Second game in a row. Yeah, he needed actually more heroes today. But on the bright side, he got like half of the stack at least. That's true, Miracle's here too. Oh, does he have a kill here? The Avatar's Warwick gets the zip away just in time. Kami, he's a bit low. They've already used the cold embrace from till the end, so they don't have another one. But in comes Janter, bringing the numbers here. Night Pulse trying to defend as Kami is going to be sent back up. Kuro, yeah, nice movement there. Thanks to the flying movement, he is still alive and kiting around Warwick with the kill there as they toss him out. Is this a double kill? No, but just one onto Miracle is good enough. Because that was a cold embrace onto the clockwork. Clearly the favorite winter is till the end. Ooh, needs another right click, needs another shadow poison, and has it. Sumail rejoining oh, the fight wait. to put more power Genta pressure on. Is looking for the mountain. The mountain hasn't grown he up. He's level he five. Wants him. In code the cogs. They push GH back out and he'll at least steal away the illusion rune at minute eight. <laughs> As Nick McGalaxy. They go deep. They get a couple, I mean they get a lot of kills. But they lose out on the stack, and they still don't get Sumail involved here in much. As Miracle, the mountain. Okay, jumping in. That's a deep move in from Warwick, but they really want this kill onto him. Trapped inside Cogjell. He dies again. Cogjell is lethal. They have to shut it down. Too many of the inmates are dying, Winter, but Warwick's going to die in there as well. Now it's the inmates running the place. As Sumail chasing after Jaunter. And can't chase any farther. There's just too many heroes here. We are brawling so early here. Look, I mean, they're not, we're not even done. Kuro. Trying to trying to reach in. No, he can't. He can't sneak in between those cogs. Okay, finally we're done. Holy moly! That's very true. Uh, Sumail is going to. I, I I stopped doing that after the third game. What? Oh, well, breaking your cogs. Three, three, two. Yeah. Okay. Fourteen minute wisdom room taken. Oh, oh curse. good curse. They've caught three. Where's the follow up though? Wall into the vacuum. Into the hook shot now. Big McGowan said they've got all five heroes here as Warwick is going to complete that teleport and finally be able to zip on in. He's going to pull back Kuro now, but they don't really have the damage from oh, in between. He's on been the cliff. cliffed. He needs an infest target. The Academy's going to say jump in. He says yes, sir. Straight away, Kami trying to get back into his defensive wall where he was surged, but then got cold embraced. Sumail is in deep now. He finds himself in cog jail, focused and killed thanks to the Yule Scepter. FBZ low on HP. He needs to get out as Miracle bailing out of this fight. But Nigma Galaxy, they seem to have gone a bit too deep there as Infest finds that second kill onto FBZ. Night pulls. They hold on to everyone, get the wisdom, and rebuke the aggression of Nigma Galaxy. And those are going to be very, very key. I think perhaps. Lost off on bad. Oh, blink forward. We still have a save ready with the curse. Oh, big Catching curse. four heroes. Say goodbye to Kuroki. The hook shot to follow through. Four heroes in Cog Jail. Oh, no. Winter, no jailbreak today for FBZ. He's trapped inside as Nigma get absolutely destroyed by the Winter's curse. Keep our eyes on him. 10 seconds. He kind of just needs to wait at the moment. Just wait for them to go on to B2. So it's so it's so hard. I mean, with the pipe barrier, I just don't see this happening. Okay, they're going to try, though. Hook shot in with the vacuum wall. Pulling him back. Warwick immediately in. They kill off Kuroki as inside of Cog Jail, Sumail still finds a stun there on the split earth. Allows FBZ to jump in. But Warwick, he's got the infest. 
He's safe and sound now, trying to escape. Can they pull down this Wyvern fast enough? Indeed they can, but they're going to initiate back on a, uh, on a Miracle. They have the Dust to see him. GH back alive again. And there's a buyback up from Night Pulse. They have the Outpost, so he's in soon. The Cog pushed back on the Miracle. He's dusted. He has no way out. He's dead. FBZ leaving on the side no with the buyback. Flamethrower. Doesn't have buyback here. This could just be the game at this rate. Winter has work up on the high ground. Set up to the, the Winter's Curse now. Vatood laying into Leshrag as Nygma Galaxy falling in game two. The counterplay, the aggression. Night Pulse in their element, chasing now after FBZ, who's just able to escape. But that's four heroes dead. The mid lane of Barracks, they're all for the taking now for Night Pulse as they have cracked open this game number two. What? Tough game here for the carry Tiny, getting involved early, taking some early deaths now as Batoon does use this rage early on. Mid lane, the blink out oh, FBZ trying to go around the side. Batoon will close the door from behind, but he uses that Ogre Seal Totem to get up to the high ground safely. Batoon taking a ton of damage here as that's Kuro. Oh no, they canceled the lasso instantly with that Lotus Orb. Batoon looking worse for it, but he jumps into some mail. It's a one for one trade. Kuro and the Wyvern are down, but it's the Wyvern without buyback here. Speaking up by that, Kuro's back in as well as Nygma looking to hold, looking to try and remove the Aegis, looking to try and still close out this game. 2-0 as FBZ jumps in a second time. The stun on the Batoon, it will connect, but he is so tanky now as he turns back onto Sumail, who has Bloodstone on cooldown for 20 seconds. He's getting ran down as Miracle doing a phenomenal job of keeping them out of this fight. FBZ, worse for wear, trapped in the corner, nowhere else to go. Blinks of avoiding Batoon somehow, but Miracle, somehow he's gone even deeper here. Speaking in a deep, <laughs> there's a life stealer deep inside of him. Vatoon with the kill onto Miracle. FBZ can only watch as the tiny tumbles for the ninth time this game. Hook shot in. Jaunter perfectly connecting on the cogs of Sumail, ready to go for a second round, trying to repel these heroes off the high ground. Jaunter dies as Vatoon getting kited around here a little bit. Back onto Kuroki, who's going to die for a second time. That's a dieback for him. FBZ with a huge jump in, though. Takes down Kami. Do they have the damage room? He missed the Timber Chain. Winter, he missed the Timber Chain. He doesn't have another for a second, but GH here in time for the save. Can they get him out of trouble? It seems like yes, but Batoon infested inside of him. Rides along for the duration of the Timber Chain and finds the kill. They buy back on FBZ. They need to get a kill on Batoon. They haven't managed that yet here. Have Nigma, despite a somewhat successful high ground hold, it's been costly. But they live to fight another day. Platoon. Okay, does reflect the uh, disruption there. Now they know where he's at. GH. GH, he's got buyback, so he can afford to die. Sumail, on the other hand, does not have buyback. Winter, he's a thousand gold short. He's being controlled by the team. Need some assistance. GH, we need a hero right now. We need anything. But Sumail, he's going to die by himself. There's Kuro now from behind with Miracle opening up this fight. Trying to take down the Wyvern, but no, the curse, Winter in time and not out from you it's the curse on to nigma galaxy which are going to condemn them to a game three as Kuroki's going to call it night pulse fight back get themselves into a game three scenario for the second time versus nigma galaxy a game what a game like uh kind of look like they might have a chance to come back then winning that couple of last team fights the by finding the so even though FBZ is picking it he is a hero specialist on this the hero got actually some pretty sizable nerfs uh, mostly to the storm panda actually got hit the hardest uh the cooldown is now massive on the was it cyclone right i think is the ability name uh and the, the tricky part uh, here yeah so far pretty good oof plan the tree he has to, I think. Okay, he's got Jancer coming over now. Oh, maybe they can actually turn and kill him. Oh, Kuro. A bit up uh -oh. a bit more than he could shoot. Slow to a crawl by this blood grenade. Yeah, and he was gonna go for first blood. Down from the mid lane to collect a kill as Miracle through the gate till the end. Making the best use here. Quick little links while stun. Jancer, does he have the damage? He does. Sumail though, how many is gonna clean up here? Becomes the new question. Silence. Oh, and completely countered here by the Phantoms. Embrace. He might not have a way out. Oh, not enough mana for a second Phantom though. So the crazy chalk on kills off Jancer. As in comes FPZ, TP from the lane. Here we have the first split. The void push as well onto Kami as he's just trying to clear these creep waves but can do nothing here. Oh, well, Hold on, we're going mid. So. Big fight, but the Hex into the shackles now with the Serpent Wards applied. They get the kill onto Warwick as there's going to be the grave save for Sumail. He still ticks down though. The Firestorm doing work as FPZ has caught a fourth hero. Sumail is going to drop, but it's Nygma Galaxy who not only pick up four, but they're going to get this mid tier one tower too. A uh, huge, huge team fight there coming in with uh, even the carry, you know, like just securing those kills. It was a very, very important fight for Nigma to secure. Now they get a tower.
take control of the game. Yeah, you're you're killable, but it's still good. I mean, with the uh, new change to the Twisted Chakram, the Crazy Chakram. The crazy Chakram. Oh, good yeah, It gives the hero uh, still like some some chances of being aggressive uh, early on with this build. The male looking for a quick kill there and has it easily thanks to the Crazy Chakram pass damage, but instead mid, Omni Slash onto Miracle, and there's no way out from him. The uh, Kuro was, was fighting top, as that's a ton of burst damage here on a warrior. Kami, he just wants to keep farming, thank you very much. Gets up to the high ground, but he's underneath the Lit Watcher on GH with the Blink Dagger. Avoids that hook shot, kind of missed as well. Janter trying his best now, the Cogs keeping FBZ trapped inside, but he's dying here to Kuroki. Kuroki, who's going to get his sweet, sweet revenge from that top lane. As he's going to go and tick down, well really, FBZ gets the kill, but it would have been better, Winter, if he died to the Poison Touch. Him. You don't have like a Phoenix on top. Huck has gone for Witchblade. Oh, they're, they're going to make a play here. They still want to fight underneath this war. They know that there's no God's strength, as they're going to need oh, to take Kuro up. out of this fight first. Hookshot continuing to control them as Sumail, he's going to jump his supports himself. Warwick still trying to get rid of Kuro, who is managed to get rid of uh, the Phantom's Embrace, but it's Miracle in the meantime, who does not have the Phantom's Embrace, who does not have the Shallow Grave, who is going to die. FBZ. Channels this ultimate now, gets out the split, has this Radiance burned, it's just not doing enough. There's going to be the lift now, at least onto the Underlord, as Janter dropping here to the Masked Primal Brulings. Another Cog here is going to just annoy the heck out of Sumail, as Fatoon, ready now, does not have Omni Slash, but there's the spin onto FBZ. No TP out from him as he's coiled up. GH trying his best with the Dispel Chicken play, but FBZ now taking a ton of damage, and Sumail doing what he can. Still plenty of mana to play with, realizing he's got a lot of resources here. Wants to go back on in. FBZ in the meantime still kept alive by the backliners of GH with another Blink Hex Girl's there back. onto Janter, but it's now Warrock who jumps back in. FBZ trapped inside the Pit of Malice. He's going to go down. Kuro, second time in this fight, he saves himself with at least a Shallow Grave as Janter with the hook shot onto Sumail. Sumail is just this unkillable machine as he's running after more, 8, 1, and 6. All Kami can do is just blink away and try and TP out. Vatoon, he's got to spin to TP away, and Sumail doesn't have the damage for him, but till the end. Um, something I want to bring up is uh, this Underlord shard. It's a big upgrade. He got it for free from the Tormentor, so we'll keep our eyes on that as Janter. GH. He is going to be the one trying to distract them. The real wraparound is behind, however, where they do find GH. He turned himself into a chicken winter. And he turns himself into a chicken again. Oh, no, he, they got baited. No, okay, Warwick, he couldn't miss there on that uphill attack thanks to the Witchblade. That actually really came in handy. They do lose Janter, so it's a full even four versus four fight into this Aegis, into the Amplified Damage Rune. Once again, they find the Backliners. They're trying to nuke through them, but they just like the damage. Vatoon on top of Kuro gets the kill. There's no Grave save in this fight, but it's Vatoon who needs a Grave himself because he's down for the count. Sumail does the damage they need till the end, kiting around Miracle here, but he's finally caught and killed off now as especially with the brulings out to play cami he's just not able to offer anything in this fight he's got greaves and a big wand here so he's going to be a bit tougher to take down winter but he's just not able to go anywhere sumail is a monster in these fights 11 1 and 7. another arcane rune another one team fight you know for uh, sumail <laughs> just basically the eagle song uh, but he doesn't have buyback now, Winter, and no acceptor for your block because Vatoon just jumping in. He has Melting Miracle, but they don't have any solution for that Grave. Okay, not so bad, really, as FBZ. He snaps the coil, but there's no damage here to jump in on him. Even still, he's got Cheese. He has a Manta style, and this Radiance Mystery. Sumail, Sumail just jumps in, as that's going to be only Swift Slash now from Vatoon. Escaping now to another tree here. They will have an Inkswell stump, but they can't hit him with that active here on the reactive armor. Thanks to the Ag Scepter. Kami doing what he can now. Zorada Vetos onto Miracle. Onto Miracle. Kuro, though, easily saves him with another Grave. Doesn't have another for 17 seconds, but here's now FBZ, who's in a little bit deep. Silence. Hookshot. Can they burst him down? Out comes the Omni. No! He gets the cheese and the Manta. Turns down with the Primal Split, but Batoon still onto the high ground. He's safe and sound. Janter, he dies. This FBZ eats him alive, really. I think the damage from Miracle, but he's got buyback, Winter. Can they keep fighting this Batoon? He committed the Omni Slash already. That's a big spin, but again, Kuro's just having the easiest time of his life out here. They reflect the Hex. GH turns himself into a chicken as there's a stun now onto Batoon. Batoon with a slip shot saves himself here slightly. Again, going out this time, the Omni, but again, a grave onto Miracle, preventing no damage from coming through. He's just not close to lethal. This time, he's finally going to go down as it's a two for one trade. You have FBZ, who without split is still doing a phenomenal job at zoning the rest of the team away from the fight. But Nigma, they're going to continue on for a second set of barracks. 
Okay. Okay. This I is pulse. the jump they want, though. Kuro. In. Kuro in danger, but they don't want to really finish him off. Can they kill him still, GH, with the Cluster Cluck? Out comes the Swift Slash. No, the Grave still comes through, and that's going to buy enough time now for Nigma Galaxy to reinforce Kuroki. You may have died, but you bought time at least for the team to potentially take this fight around you now. But Toon, what can you make happen? You have yourself an Omni Slash now, but you're rooted in place, trying to fight Mano Mano through the ja through the bars of the Cog Jail. It's just, the Omni Slash has him bouncing all over the fight, but ultimately not doing enough damage. Miracle stands his ground, bat chest, he wins the fight. There are buybacks available for Night Pulse, but what's it going to offer them here, Winter? Straight onto these bottom lane of Barracks. Miracle looking to close this game out. They respect the buyback pressure, though, especially from Kami. Don't want to throw this oh, one away. No boots. He has no boots. Doesn't have any He's boots. Sumail. Sumail. A little bit trapped here. Nice job on the cut. So FEZ immediately cutting to the back. Cuts down this Grimstroke who buys back. Actually, that's the Jug buying back. Platoon. He's all in on this fight now is Warwick. A nice job there on that Psychic Headband. Buying as much space and time for Janter. That's Miracle actually stuck in the high ground. He's going to die. FBZ, he might be next. Hookshot whiffs. That could have been critical there to taking down the Timber Saw as Platoon chasing down the Brewmaster through this uh, cloak now. They will find him. The Invis ends. And I believe so will the life of that BZ. It costs just about every single bit of buyback that Night Pulls had, but Winter, they hold. And look at this. Look at this. There's a train. There's a freight train heading right their way. And his name is Miracle. Jumping in. Kami, you fought back. You cannot afford to die, but look at the cleave. It's just too much, Chancer. He's completely alone. As Nigma Galaxy sweep across the map, they pick off three winter and they are on their way to the grand finals now. Only a tier four towers, a couple of them, a pair of them, and these bottom lane of barracks, which don't last but a second as the Miracle rips into them. That has got to be it, Winter. I just don't see them losing this game. Nigma Galaxy moving on into the grand finals here. They have a BO5 chance versus PSG Quest. My polls, they may have to just give it their all now, but they know. They know, Winter. It's over. The Egma Galaxy into the BO5 as they go. They finally await. Yeah, they're going to have to find a, a much more stable level, you know, when they go into the, the grand finals against Quest. Uh, I think it's going to be a way tougher matchup compared to Night Pulse. I mean, uh, no offense, but uh, Quest is just on a totally different level at the moment. And Nigma is going to.